I was like, what's going on, babe? And she was like, you know, I just want someone else on me. <laughs> and I was like, oh, it had been. I'm driving. I'm like, he was like, what? Wait, excuse me. I was like, what, what do you mean you just want somebody you else know. on? And look, she was in her own world. She was like, just staring out the window. <laughs> Guess what, bitch? <laughs> and it didn't mean exactly that. What I meant was, we had been in a relationship for a long time, a, probably ten years by then. No, it was like yeah, seven years. Se seven years. You know what they say? Oh, son, can't open your eyes. Can't you see? Huh? And you know, I had missed. Like you miss when you get married. That moment that you guys meet for the first time, and he walks you to your door, and you're like, "Oh, are we gonna? Is this gonna be a thing? Is it not gonna be the butterflies? All those things when you're dating people, the spontaneity, all those little things." And I had just gotten to a point where I was like, "Oh, I'm never gonna have a first kiss again with someone. I'm never gonna get that like." anxious feeling again when you're first dating someone and you don't know where it's going and it was more like a realization of all of that stuff and i was like oh god i'm gonna have to let that go like those, those butterfly feelings and you have butterflies when you're married for a long time but it's just they're it's different, different. Butterflies. it's different they're you're not right? real different. butterflies they they're like moths they're they, like moths they don't you know they don't got pretty colors no more little they just beige ones that like flutter towards the light they just beige they got a hole in the wing. <laughs> Hey, yo, hey, yo, why are you still with her? I mean, listen, she said, oh, I missed the first kiss and all that extra shit. You want some new, just a bird. I sacrifice to God. Give me a bird. That's enough for a man to know. That's all you need to know as a man. At that point, homie, move on. Move on, bro. Facts. That's crazy. He said 21 people in this building. Come now, wherever you are. Give me an envelope. Give me some envelopes. He said 21 people. Come now, wherever you are. He talking to you. In this building, a thousand dollars ain't nothing. A thousand dollars ain't nothing in comparison to what God's gonna do. I didn't call for bucket shit, y'all. That ain't nothing. There's plans that you have that ain't going through until you make that sacrifice to the Lord. Pimp movie. Telephone. I said, hey, man, come on over to the pad. Let's wrap a taste on it, you know? So when he comes over, I told her to give him a little taste because he sure as shit wasn't getting none from me. <laughs> See, that nigga wanted the honey. All we want is the money. Until you make that sacrifice to the Lord. Stand right here, young man. There's business plans that y'all got. It ain't going through until you make that sacrifice to God. There's promotions that you want. You're not going to get it until you make that sacrifice to God. Line up right here. I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. Line up right here. I know what I'm talking about. The Lord said you better come. I'm just a messenger. He said, there's 21 of you all sitting here. You put everything else on your credit card. I don't care what vending machine you told you was coming back. What vending table you... Not today. There's pastors that go... God want to open doors for you. He don't want you to rent. He wants you to own your own building. But you got to make that sacrifice. Who is he talking to? Who is he talking to? Older and younger. There's doors that you won't open. There's some people sitting in this church that's been praying for things for your church. You're the one that's called it. That boy's good. Advice for your church. Come now. I know you're in here because the prophecy don't lie. The spirit of the Lord don't lie. The spirit of the Lord don't lie. The spirit of the Lord don't lie. He's not a lying spirit. He said 21 people in here. If God wasn't talking, nobody would have moved. He said 21 people in this building. That's what he means. He said, 21 people in this building. How do I know God is talking to me? Because you got it. That's how I know God is talking to you. Because it's in your account right now. Because it's on your credit card right now. That's how I know God is talking to you. I don't think anybody can ever remember me charging you to pray for you. Registration is open right now. And when I get to the 150 people, I will have to close it. Um, that's ridiculous. Um, I don't even know why I have to say this, but I have to say it. That is absolutely ridiculous. Um, especially in the last several years that I have traveled in ministry, um, giving away more money than I want to think about right now. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Um, preaching at conferences and not taking a dime, which I recently uh, did and have done and have stacks of letters to prove that. Um, that's just not who I am. As a matter of fact, um, I, I have a dream, uh, and I've shared it with my staff, and a goal. And my goal is I want to be established to the point that I can go and preach for free, which I already do. So I guess I'm in my dream. <laughs> Three of you in the room right now. You've been looking my eyeballs. We ain't afraid of you, you stinking witch. <laughs>